flounder lights back on the eastern shore. With my history of wrecks, it seems I've got to check this craft on the bluff once more. Need is a better thing these days. Borders on desire in this pathetic world full of bright shiny things. Sometimes more than ever, we'll find just doing what and where we are. I'm just one lucky man with no particular plan. Tonight I just need my guitar. Don't need to be important or famous. No limos on my little last car. I'm just one lucky man with his feet in the sand. Not a sneeze. My guitar. Hi, guys. We're here with uh, Gary Sykes which is, uh, Gary's been with bands, gosh, his whole life. He's been playing all over. He's been with one of the number one bands in the state and around the tri-state area. It's called Godspeed. Yeah! That's played all over. And, you know, packing every club that there was on the East Coast. And uh, we're trying to get back here today to talk about, you know, getting the music back and give a shot in the arm to the kids to get back into playing because we need to get that uh, music back into the industry and get people to start playing instruments and really learn their craft and that's what we're here for so I'd like to talk to Gary and ask him a question as far as so what got you started in the, in the Beatles. industry Beatles okay and then you know it's, it's funny because I was I was thinking about that the other day my brother started playing okay now he was he was a drummer played drums and absolutely incredible since he was like I don't know, 12 13 okay but he started when McCartney came out he started playing and learning all McCartney's bass parts. Oh, wow. I, I was, you know, younger than him. I was like, man, that that sounds cool. <laughs> so actually, I started playing bass because he did. Okay. That's how I got on the bass, you know. But he knew every one of McCartney's bass lines. Wow. And he was a drummer. Okay. You know, he ended up going to Juilliard. And, gotcha. Okay. But and uh, but you now you I mean, how much I mean you know how much work it takes to to get into yeah. playing and learn. I mean mm -hmm. it's something. You have to put into, would you say, it's something, you know, whatever you put into it, it's something you're going to get out of oh, it. Oh, without a doubt. That's how it works. No no matter what. You know, like, even when you sit down now and learn a song, mm -hmm. I mean, if you hear something, you learn it. You're not wasting your time because, first of all, it's fun. Mm -hmm. You love it. Yeah. And somewhere along the line, that comes back into play. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, when, when I was young, I was learning stuff that we probably didn't play but then all of a sudden, it, it would come up somewhere. And you're like, oh, you know, I, now I could do that. You use that you know, lick or, or something or that you're learning. Exactly, yeah. You know, yeah. a lick. You, yeah. You're right, especially with the bass. You know, you learn a bass part. Maybe you're not going to play it because of a certain band that you're in, but eventually it comes around. Yeah. And it's funny because this uh, band that me and the uh, bass player from my band is in, we... We, we did a thing, it's an old smi smile, I don't know if you remember smile. The band, sure, yeah. sure do. So we did that, but all, I'm saying, we're gonna put a this time into learning all these songs. I mean, you know, they had like 40 songs that we had to learn now. Wow. For one gig. That's a, well, that's a lot so of homework. So we, we, we split it up, but eventually that helps. You know, somewhere along the line, I could, oh, I know that song. All right, you know, now I can do that song. But yeah, it's in the back of your vault. Yeah, it just I, comes up. You know, music is just great and it helps. Yeah, it's your, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, yeah, it just helps your mind, I think. I don't know. It also, I mean, would you say that something that you'll always have with you? I mean, you can, yeah. in, in a crazy, bizarre way, like even if as you get older, I mean, you can actually maybe not make a full time living like you did it at one point, which you did and still do today, mm -hmm. but at least. If you ever needed extra money, like maybe go play at a, mm -hmm. you know, a corner and open up a, you know, like a little cafe mm -hmm. and get something. So you can always have something. You'll always have it with you. 
It's funny you said that because my old guitar player, who was actually in Godspeed, okay, he went away from music for a while. He started doing corporate stuff. Then I got him in Parrot Beach. That's the band we're doing, you know, the Buffett band. Okay, the guitar player. Okay, so he played with us. Now he moved to Arizona and he does like uh, computers, corporate. Okay, but I just saw him at his mom's funeral, and he said he's freaking out. He has to play. Yeah. So he's out there looking for, for bands. For something. Yeah. He said when he left, this was, I guess, about two years ago. He was like, no, that's it. I'm, I'm just going to play a little in my house and that's it. You know, sold all his recording stuff. Oh, yeah. Now he's right back. It's in his blood, man. Yeah. Once it's in, you'll never yeah, get rid yeah. of it. You know, that's it. Yeah. Well, do you, do you find, I mean, what would you say if you... If there's any advice that you could give any kids or anyone that's looking out there now, you know, that's kind of on the fence because, you know, with the new tech stuff that's out, the technology now, mm -hmm. everybody wants that instant gratification with the, you know, guitar hero where you're playing the buttons and you're right. not, and you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you're sounding like Aerosmith or you're sounding like the classic rock stuff, but there's nothing you're going to accomplish by pressing orange, yellow, green buttons. I mean, I don't know. What's your take on that? Or what's your actual, how do you feel about that? The technology of the simple gratification in today's world as opposed to how you learned, that, how you that, spent your time. That's scary. That's, I, I think about that. I'm like, I, I, want, I want to, and I think people should use the technology that we have. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they got the harmonizers, they got the doublers, they got the repeaters, they got everything that you possibly imagine. But I think you definitely have to be able to play first and then use all that. Okay. But it's really tough with the technology now because that's what they're learning. So as we sat down and I just got down the bass, they're getting bass and recording down and all the electronics that go in between. So I think you have to use all the new things that are out, but you know, you always gotta come down to be playing. Right. And putting the time into it and not just visually well could you imagine where you would be if you had wow the technology today is sitting you know remember how you used to always mm -hmm. have to go to recording studios yeah. you always had to book time you always had engineers involved you could have that technology at your fingertips Incredible. in your room and come out with great mixes great sound and and the knowledge that you have for playing do you know what i mean like all the instruments you can play they play guitar do bass or multi i think at that time, Godspeed would have probably had a, a contract. We were close, but you know the, the music that we were doing at that time, they, you know, just sitting there in the studio, going back and, and redoing things. And this 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 one guy, they used to call him Razor Ron because he used to actually cut the tape and splice it's the together. tape together. For, you know, like when you have to cut out, like when you're doing a master or, you know, on your ha your half track, you just have to cut the tape to get rid of all the stuff and then splice it together and make it clean. And yep. Yeah, you're right. I mean, with the new stuff, it would have been tremendous. But now the kids or upcoming musicians don't play. They're just doing that. Right. And if they did both, that's where I think it really comes in. Come but, but who, who knows? Yeah. It, it's unfortunate. And I'm sure here, look, look at your store. I mean, you got great guitars. You got, and do they come in and really know what that guitar is? And, yeah. and the guitars that have been made in Japan compared to Fenders and yeah, not, Gibsons and Gretches and. Yeah, not, not, not much. You yeah. Know, but, they come in, they look at the know. price. And, mm, but then if it was the sound, it's like, we're going to buy that. I'm going to buy that guitar. You yeah. know? Yeah. Well, that's what we do. You know, that's what I'm trying to get across here is to get everybody to start the fire again, you know, to get like, mm -hmm. like, like you said, we talk, let's talk back. Uh, just briefly was the fact that when you saw the Beatles it made you want to play, you know, you couldn't wait. You realize that, hey, you had to put effort into it to get it out. Yeah. You know, when you saw a guitar player going, you know, blah, 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 you know, you knew you wanted to do that, but you worked at it to do that. Once you learn something, you'll always have it. You'll never lose it. And you have accomplished something where people can see. I mean, how many times you played on stage and you have everybody's mouth drawn, drop, hitting when you're playing, saying, wow, listen to how they sound. Look what they did. You know, listen yeah. to the material. Listen to what these guys are doing. Listen to original material. Listen to stuff, you know? But you have to, you got to love it, though. I mean, you have to, when you're a kid, 
playing it and then realizing, wow, you know, I, I really, I'll, I'll sit here for four hours and do right. this, five right. hours and do this. You know, I'm not, I'm not, nah, not going to go out drinking with everybody. <laughs> I, you know, I'll do that later. But, you know, yeah. just to learn, just to sit, sit with it. And all of a sudden you, you learn it. It's like, wow, I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. That you know, I mean, I remember. It's like, yeah. Well, I started on a bass. Okay, right. And then I'm like, damn, I'm like, how am I going to get my fingers in there, like, to do all that? Right. You know what I mean? How am I going to? And I sat, and my fingers would hurt, and they'd get yeah, blisters, yeah. and that would hurt. And then all of a sudden, you, you know, you do a G chord. Comes wow, together. You do a D. Wow, A. I mean, A was a hard chord to do. Yeah. You know, when I was first learning guitar, it was like. Yeah. Mm, Not to weird. mention the chord changes, yeah. right? To get them to change. And then finger picking. Wait, how do you do all that? Yeah. You know, how do you do that? What is your input to that you think advice you could give to make it better for? Jeez. But you have to learn the right way to do foundation, it. The right yeah, foundation, right? Yeah, foundation. Yeah. Right foundation to do it. So learn the right foundation. That's it. Study hard, play, and you will almost become as good as me. <laughs> we want to thank Gary very much for stopping by and, and trying to help out the small mom and pop shop and take his time from his busy schedule to, to educate us and hopefully everybody out there that wants to learn or thinking about learning an instrument and realize they just have to stick with it and believe me, you'll get there, no doubt. All right, thanks guys. Have a good night or day or whatever time you see this. I'd like to thank Gary Sykes for showing up today and um, spending this time from off his schedule to, to help to give the input for the small music stores to generate and get music back into the industry and get people that want to play or thinking of playing to play and to realize that it's not a walk in the park, but you do put effort, whatever you put into it, you'll get out of it. Again, Gary, thank you so much. I thank appreciate you. it. Come so down much. and buy Come a guitar. Down. Buy something. Look at these guitars. <laughs> yeah. They're beautiful. Basses and beautiful they guitars. really put an effort in to learn an instrument. It's so, so important. Thanks again for lending an ear. Thanks for stopping in to Encore Chat. I'm Pete Schmiedazer that owns a small little store called Schmied's Music, 831 Route 10 East in the Pine Plaza Shopping Center in Whippany, New Jersey. Thanks, guys, and stay in touch to see more videos to come.